Well, hello, it's Karen McDermott Rolfe, independent advisor with Creative Memories and designer with Creative Life Scrapbooking. Today, I'm here to give you a look at the layout that I've created and shared for Feature Project Friday. We'll get to this layout in a minute, but first I just wanted to mention that if you go to our Creative Life Scrapbooking Facebook page, you're gonna see lots of layout ideas that we share with you for Feature Project Friday and also for Border Maker Monday. So you're gonna get a lot of great layout ideas and inspiration there. We also hold four quarterly virtual crops each year that we call a PJ party. And our next PJ party will be next week on Friday, July 26th. The PJ party will feature seven double page layouts that are designed for versatility. The layouts will hold um, many photos, several photos. You can use almost any paper collection with the, the layouts. And we also design for easy tool substitutions. Also, each of the seven layouts features a unique feature or a technique also. So we'll meet on Zoom on Friday, July 26th to create four of those layouts together. And then we'll share video recordings for the other three layouts. We also host a private Facebook group for the PJ Party where everyone who participates will share photos of their completed layouts. So for each of the layouts that we share, you're going to see many, many different examples of these layouts using a variety of different papers and tools. So it's really a lot of fun. We, we really enjoy that aspect of the PJ Party when everyone um, puts their own twist on our layouts and when they start creating and sharing the layouts using different materials because it gives all of us some great ideas. So to get registered for that PJ Party, please go to our website at creativelifescrapbooking.com and you'll find the registration link there. And again, that's creativelifescrapbooking.com. All right, so let's get to the matter at hand today. So this is the, the layout that I'm sharing for Featured Project Friday today, um, July 19th, 2024. And um, we offer a printable handout with photos and step-by-step -step instructions for all of the all of the layouts that we share. And you can find these printable handouts also on our website at creativelifescrapbooking.com. So on the website, go to the shop area and you can purchase for a very small fee and then download the printable instructions. So today I just really wanted to give you a little teaser look at the layout and talk about one little technique that I used on the layout um, you'll notice I've created these big, fluffy, fringy paper flowers as my embellishment. So here's just kind of a better view of some of these. So it's kind of a shabby chic look, um, rustic look. I've added that fringe and we've crumpled them up a little bit. So I just wanted to give you a quick video demo on how to create these flowers. So you can make them um, out of any size circles. So just, you know, really I, I cut circles in a variety of different sizes and then layered them and also using different papers. I also um, chose papers that had a contrast on the back side because when we did, when I did the fringe and I bent them, then you can see that back side and that gives it a, just a little bit more detail. And, so I've cut a circle here using the number two circle pattern. That's the middle size circle pattern using the red blade on the outside edge. But again, you can use um, any size circle and you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna fold it in half again and you're gonna keep folding it in half um, as far as you can go. So probably one more here and it's kind of thick now, okay? So you'll see that. So I'm going to take my all-purpose scissors and on the, the wide ends of this triangle shape, I'm just going to round them to create a petal shape. And I am cutting through some, um, a few different layers of paper here. So, you know, be careful when you cut that you don't slip and accidentally cut your finger. So see how I've got it rounded now? And then, this is optional, but this is what I did. I made these little snips all the way around that rounded edge to create the fringe. And this is a step, you know, you can um, skip if you like, but I thought it added a pretty detail and 
I love to add pretty details to my layouts. And again, it's a little hard. You have to have a little bit of strength there to cut through those different layers. And now as we open up the triangle, we are going to cut it there on those fold marks. But don't cut all the way through. Cut almost to the point. And then we'll open it up in another layer. And then we have another little segment here to cut. And, whoops, and we'll open it again. And then when we open up the final layer, we'll just have to kind of go around and cut the two areas that need to be cut yet. So look at all of those petals that we have. So next what I'm going to do is crumple it up. Yes, don't be afraid to do this. We're going to add some texture to this, give it that shabby chic kind of distressed look. And then we're going to unfold it gently. And then I'll kind of go around the edges here where I have that fringe and just bend, you know, kind of randomly bend some of those areas on the fringe. So let's see what how I'm doing that there. So then you're going to get that back side to show. Of course, you'll have to decide, you know, what side am I going to use this on? Is it, so I think I've already <laughs> made that decision that I'm going to use it on the, the lighter side of denim. Here will be up. And then I'll have the darker denim will be on the back sides of the fringe. Okay. So then as you go around, you'll continue to do that to make your pretty fluffy flower. And then you'll cut some circles that are smaller and layer them on top. Okay. So just again to take another quick look at some of my layered flowers. So you can see in this one, I've done three layers and then I've used a sticker. Um, on this flower, I've, I've done three layers, and then I used a small flower punch for a, a center. This flower only did two layers. And one, two, three, four layers for this flower, plus the little flower punch in the middle. And then the centers of my flowers, um, these are stickers from the Denim Revival sticker pack. They look like little brads, but they are stickers. And I guess I neglected to say that all of this paper... Um, the stickers that I've used, the variety mat, they're all from the Denim Revival collection. Also, um, I, I didn't put this in my written instructions because I kind of added this as an afterthought. But these, um, see these little pieces right here on this photo? There's two of them. I cut them off of a variety mat. So there's a variety mat that had these. So just with my scissors, I cut them into strips and then I adhered them over the top of my photo with foam squares. Again, just to give uh, some pretty detail. So you can see um, a full um, full size photo of this on our Creative Life Scrapbooking Facebook page. And then if you'd like the printable instructions, please go to our website at creativelifescrapbooking.com. And don't forget to register for that PJ party on July 26th. I will be presenting first during our Zoom session, and I would love to see you on Zoom and to visit with you. So I hope you can join us. Thanks so much.